Hi guys, this is Shivadi. In this session, I am going to explain default methods and interface. This is the new feature which got introduced as part of Java 8. Before we go ahead and see default methods and interface, let us see what is the common problem we are going to face when we are working with the interface. As we know that interface basically contains an abstract methods and all the implementation class now has to provide the functionality for the abstract methods. Now let us suppose your project is going to older and older then number of implementation classes that implements that interface is also grows more and more. Now let us suppose if we want to introduce a new abstract method in the interface then all the implementation classes has to modify. That is the first problem. So in order to avoid this problem generally what we are going to do is we are going to create a base class implementation which implements the uh, which implements the interface and in the base class implementation basically we are going to provide the all the functionality and when it comes to the implementation now there is a subclass will be the subclasses are basically implement uh, in extend the extends the base class instead of implementing the interface with that what we are going to do with that what we are going to achieve is if tomorrow if there is any new abstract method introduced in the interface then only the base class implementation if we provide the default uh, implementation then there is no uh, there is no code uh, modification required at the subclasses level so that is the approach we are going to uh, approach we are going to follow in order to eliminate this complexity as part of the java 8 they introduce the default methods which basically you can provide the functionality in the interfaces so that is the main um, reason why they introduce the default methods in interface. Now second one is with the help of the default methods you can basically eliminate the base class implementations currently what we are doing for our projects. And the third point is default method can be um, used to define like a utility methods where there are certain utility methods which are going to specific to the project we are going to create like null, null pointer check or the empty string or some conversions. So those type of methods directly you can implement in the interface instead of creating separate utility classes or the base class implementations. And when it comes to the default method, default method basically having the functionality is defined uh, for that method in the interface and any implementation class directly it can access it. So when it comes to the default method, when a class implements the in, in interface that has the default method and implementation class does not have same method then implementation class can inherit the default method functionality let us go ahead and see with this and uh, with this point with an example so i open my eclipse right click new interface so interface name i am giving as interface 1 let us have a one uh, default method in this interface my interface one so public default void test system dot out dot println default method in my interface one now let us create a one class which basically implements this my interface one. So right click class and demo default method. Let us have a main method in this uh, class. Click finish. Now for this um, demo default method, let us implement my interface one. Now, let us create an object for the uh, demo default method class. Equal to new demo default method. And now you can access the default method with the default method object reference. So default method dot test. So in this case, what happens is the implementation class does not have any um, method signature, uh, which is same as the my interface one. So you can directly inherit this um, default method functionality, what it is defined in the my interface one. So now let us go ahead and run this program.
run as java application if you see the output default method in my interface one so that is the first point okay so second point when a class implement interface the default method and subclass basically implementation class method or signature are same then implementation class override the default method functionality so it means now let us suppose in the demo default method also will have the same method signature like default method in the interface public wide test it is the same signature then so this is the functionality defined in demo default method class now if i run this program what happens is so this test method is going to override the functionality of the my uh, interface uh, default method um, uh, functionality so now right click run as java application okay see so if you see here this is the functionality defined in the demo default method class that means if in, if the default method uh, and also the subclass um, basically implementation class having the same method signature then implementation class functionality override um, overrides the default uh, method functionality in the interface now let us consider we have two interfaces with the same method signature of the default method i am going to create a one more interface that is my interface 2 and uh, my interface 2 and this also having the same method signature of the my interface 1 of the default method so public default void test system.out.println default method in my interface 2 now let us suppose demo default method is going to extend the two interfaces because in java it is possible that you can implement the more than one interface so if two interfaces having the same method signature of the default method then it is mandatory that you have to provide the functionality in the implementation class if you see here duplicate default methods name test with the parameters and are inherited from the types my interface 2 and my interface 1 so when two interfaces having the same method signature of the default method then you you must provide the implementation for that method in the implementation class now let us go ahead and run this program again this time what happens is again the default uh, demo default method class test implementation it is going to execute now let us go to the points once again now this is the point when a class implement multiple interfaces with the same default method signature in the interface then default method will be ignored and implementation class must provide the implementation for the default method and the next point is the main reason to introduce the default method in the interfaces are to maintain the backward compatibility of the collection apis so that you can take the advantage of the uh, lambda expressions which basically eliminates the lot of boilerplate code when you are basically implementing the anonymous type of uh, implementation for the interfaces and finally we need to remember that we cannot define default methods to override the um, to override the op, uh, to override the op, object class methods that means object class we know it is a super class for the all the classes in java so you cannot any you cannot define default methods with the object class methods like public wide notify so this should be like a default right so default now if you see there is an error saying like cannot override the final method from the object 
So whatever the methods which are available as part of the object class, you cannot define them as a default methods in the interface. So and also we have wait. So wait also we cannot override. Basically, you cannot define with the default. And also we have uh, hash code that is int hash code. This also you cannot override. Okay, so these these are the points we basically need to uh, remember when we are working with the default methods. So at a high level. Default methods are basically introduced to be, to make sure that without fear of um, implementing, uh, without fear of adding the new abstract methods to the uh, implementation classes, no need to change basically the uh, implementation classes. And the default methods are basically you can eliminate the base class implementations, and also you can use as a utility methods, and you can basically uh, you cannot basically override the default methods uh, um, methods with uh, with the same name as the object class methods thanks for watching have a nice day